invite everybody from all through all show you what's happening, and you guys do that as parents. I know that because Corey and Joe are always planning good things for their kids, but it's an effort to get them involved all the time and away from the phone. And the yoga is a good thing. All right, Cruz is on the control. Hey, Cruz, do some yoga poses. <laughs> that is a, uh. All right, here we go. Uh, you can see some clear skies in around the tri-state area. Room for a good stretch, okay? Everybody enjoy it. Uh, temperatures near 80 degrees. We've been watching the temps, crews watching the humidity. It's going to be on the climb tomorrow. It's going to be feel muggy. We're going to deal with smoke, as we talked about in the last hit. High pressure will give way. The southwesterlies come in, increasing on muggies. Here comes the frontal system. We think it's going to get hung up, especially Sunday and Monday, and that will cause shock hours around here and here comes Ernesto and when there's a front by the interesting part of weather is how much of the moisture becomes involved with again these frontal systems occasional showers around here I think will be the story on Sunday now we got a cat to top winds now 100 miles per hour north northeast 14 miles per hour 410 miles south south and west of Bermuda and this looks like a bullseye hit with top winds uh, around 100 miles per hour and that's going to be Friday late afternoon night into Saturday uh, it's very rare that you get a direct hit and this looks like it's going to do it and the hurricane warning is in effect for Bermuda just for that reason warning means it's going to happen so here comes the European model look at this shot there is Bermuda there is the eye of the storm there is again the outer banding and oh, as well if it forms an eye wall and uh, the northeast quadrant will be the most important part to watch so here you go on Friday it's going to be a good day. Saturday, I think we're going to say there'll be some clouds around. There'll be scattered showers about, I think, on Sunday afternoon into Monday. Hopefully, it gets out of here on Tuesday. Look at the temps in the 70s, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And if you plan the outdoor events for the weekend, Saturday would be the choice. All right. Thank you, G.